I don't recall having seen this. This looks like, uh, this looks like, uh, what's this, what's the Earth equivalent of this? Um, Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Return from Beagle Point. Uh, today's topic of discussion is going to be a rather stark change to the format for the channel. Uh, we'll be discussing that as we continue along, and this video will actually be in that new format. Uh, but before, obviously, we hop into that, I do want to... Oh, I do want to. I'm trying to get that. Uh, I do want to stick with the standard for uh, standard thing that I do of bringing new uh, viewers into what it is that we're doing. Uh, we left the bubble quite a long time ago, made our way out to Beagle Point, and now we're on our way back. Uh, the primary goal of all of this has been. I'm going to change the way I say this because the, the my my primary goal hasn't really been exobiology. It's been traveling, but. Um, the, pri the one of the one of the major goals that we've been trying to accomplish uh, from coming out here has been to increase our exobiology rank up to the elite status, as well as hopefully make enough money with our trip out and back to purchase a fleet carrier and equip it with all of the cool stuff that we're going to want, and then take that fleet carrier out into the black and just you know kind of just explore as much as we can for as long as everybody's interested in watching. Uh, I do have a standard kind of pattern that I follow when I'm doing this when we hop in the new systems but in the last episode we found this planet that has a bunch of biology in it oops I need to uh, I need to go all the way out I don't have enough room to just turn around here uh, we found this planet that has a bunch of biology on it we still have several more things that we need to find uh, so that's what we're going to be focusing on for now let me slow down and hopefully now I can turn around maybe Okay, so we'll do this here. So Alioida is all over the place. I think we found the Concha in the last one. So, hmm. I'm not really sure what Alioida looks like. All right, well, I think what we'll do then is, oops. I want to actually get over to the sun, the, the sunlit side of all of this, so let's do that first. Okay. So, don't worry, we'll get to the topic here in a second. Okay, I'm just waiting to slow down so I don't overshoot anything here. Okay, I was really, <laughs> I was really worried that it was going to drop me out. So as I said, uh, if you've been following my channel and for any length of time, you know that I posted a, uh, I guess not even just for any length of time, I posted a poll either yesterday or the day before or something like that, uh, that had something to the effect of, I kind of wanted to change the way I do my channel. Uh, I've been posting multiple videos a day for quite a while now, over a year at this point. And after 1,200 videos, I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to kind of slow down a little bit and uh, maybe try to start making it so that my each of my videos has a little bit more quality rather than just pumping out as many as I can. I think I have a nice back catalog of videos for the channel at this point and continuing to just slam them out is probably, A, might not be in my best interest and B, it's also just kind of wearing me out. Uh, so. My thought was I will start doing one video a day and then rather than just pumping them out as quick as I can, I might get back into some light video editing. And that way I can do longer recording sessions for each of my games that I play Do because I'm only doing one game every day rather than trying to cram three or four or, or even five sometimes depending on, you know, what time period you've been watching in. Uh, and this will allow me to get to the point where I can just have one video, one game that I play each day, which will, you know, kind of spice up the variety a little bit because, you know, Mondays, uh, you know, Mondays will be Elite Dangerous days and Tuesdays will be my farming day. Oh, we have everything right here. Uh, you know, this might be the Alioida. I don't recall having seen this. This looks like, uh, this looks like, uh, what's this? What's the Earth equivalent of this? Um, Yep, Aliota Coronamis. It looks like 
There's a w- w- the stuff we make tequila out of. Uh, what's the freaking name for it? I can't remember. Um, guava or guave or something like that. I can't. I can't. Agave. They look like agave. Um, so those are pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I gotta try to remember to turn that into a 30 second or a, like a little five second intro at the beginning. So anyways, that's another thing. It's like, as much as I hate video editing, I know that if I want to get decent, decent audience retention, I'm going to have to do a little bit more than the just straight up recordings that I've been doing. So I'm going to try to put some time lapses and all that kind of stuff in there. Oh, okay. Look at these. All right. Okay. Um, I'm trying to put some time lapses, put s- rather than just cuts and all of that kind of stuff, because it'll make it a little bit better for everybody. Uh, ideally, you're still going to get the same level of progress. So each week that we do, you'll get, well, eventually, if I can get this to land, um, each week you'll still get the same amount of progress out of each of the videos. It'll just be more condensed rather than having to just sit through me playing a lot of this stuff um which will benefit a lot for especially the like the farming game and all of that because i'll be able to put time time lapses and all that kind of stuff in it so uh, this series will will have a lot of time lapses in it too i would imagine especially when we get to the boring parts where there isn't a lot of interesting things happening and i'm mostly just looking for planets to land on so i can put time lapses in between hey we're leaving this planet and going on to the next one let's do a time lapse which is you know probably what we're going to do here when we're done so this will be uh for me this is going to be a couple of hours of recording ideally and then i'll condense it down into 20 to 30 minutes worth of you know the best the best of the game the best out of the gameplay that we do obviously we're already six minutes in so (laughs) let's see i think this is the third one that we need sweet so yeah um i'm still I'm still going to try to find ways to be efficient with my time as far as, you know, the way that I'm doing this. I'm going to record separate clips and label some as time lapses and some some will just be regular real time and all of that. I had a system back when I was doing Star Wars The Old Republic uh, where I would put time lapses in there to kind of make it so that the, it was a little bit more watchable and not having to watch the uh, watch me run around and take forever to get there. So I think this series will end up being sort of like that where, you know, when we're down on a planet doing this stuff or, you know, even if I just run out of stuff to talk about, um, we'll put a time lapse in just so I can have a break and move on. If I can find some more of the green stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think that said, we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll finish grabbing the rest of the stuff, and we'll do that in a time lapse. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and grab this last bacteria here, and then we're going to hop off of this planet and start our journey back into space. So not too much to say other than we're going to grab this, and then, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do a time lapse off, off the planet or not. Maybe we'll hop, maybe we'll do the, I got to start figuring out kind of how I want to, uh, kind of how I want the aesthetic to be when I do these. I think we might do like a, like we'll get off the planet in real time and then 
do a hop and then do a hop and then I can just as soon as we uh, so I think we're, what I think we're going to do is going to try to do something like this where we're going to hop into here and then yeah so let's do our frame shift drive and then I can I can do a music lead in I'm a music lead in as we charge up into the frame shift drive and then I can do a time lapse once we get into a, once we get into the jump and just leave it in a time lapse until I find another another body that we want to land on cuz that's kind of probably the way we're going to want to do it so we'll go straight up until we're able to get out of here blah -dee, blah -dee, blah eventually Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. All right. So I just have to remember now that uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do a good uh, a good recording to uh, a good way to do this. <laughs> All right. So the musical build up, and away we go. So we have found ourselves not only a water world, but also an ammonia world. So uh, high metal content, terrestrial water world, high metal content. Ammonia world's probably going to be further out, I would imagine, right? Oh, here it is. So we already have it targeted. So let's go ahead and head over to it and we can get our scanning in. So we'll run over to here. Ooh, a thousand light seconds. Ooh. It's going to take a little bit of time to get to. Okay, we'll grab the last little bit of this distance. We'll scan our planet and then find our water world so we can get that one scanned. Should be pretty close here already. Ammonia, uh, ammonia worlds, I believe, are the highest money uh, options that you can find. So we definitely want to make sure we grab these as we're, as we're flying through the systems. All right. So, we already know that I can basically just do the same pattern for anything bigger than, for anything that's six or bigger, or basically anything, I can do the same pattern. So we know that's good. Let's hop out of this, and then we need to find the water world. Over here? No. Nope. That one. All right. Get that. Get our super cruise assist turned on. And this one's another almost a thousand light seconds away. And approaching our water world so we can get that done and then move on to more systems. I have to try to figure out a good system for keeping track of how long these episodes are becoming. Because I don't want to just do straight up recordings and then have to go back and sift through all of the stuff that I've done. I, I do still want to try to do some of the kind of streamlining that I've figured out over the year or the year or more that I've been doing this so because I, I, I more or less know where all the cuts are going to be um, so I just all I do is just record separate video files and then I drag all of those in and the ones that I know are going to be time lapses I label as time lapses and that's kind of how we do it but uh, I got a I have a list of files over here with links on them and I'm trying to figure out how long the, the episode is going to be but anyways back into a time lapse <laughs> So we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of high biology sources here, a biological four and a biological three. So we're definitely going to stop here and go check those guys out. Get ourselves pulled up towards this guy here. A 
approaching the planet. It's time to get some scanning done that we can find out what goodies we might have on this body. Really looking forward to finding something different. I mean, the Alioido in the last uh, in the last planet that we had was pretty different, though. I've never come across that before. And based off of at least one comment that I received, some of you have not either. <laughs> Okay, we just need a four probes here. Two, three, and four. We'll wait for those to hit, and then we can uh, find out what we have here. I have to wait for so I have to wait to, for these to hit so I can put the filter on. For those of you who don't know anything about this game, you got to wait for the probes to scan the planet, and then you can kind of find some hot spots for where things might be. So we got bacterium, osseous, stratum, and tussock. So it looks like we might want to focus on Tussa because everything else is kind of nearby. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll get our Super Cruise Assist turned off. And we'll try to uh, carefully approach the planet. Or the body or whatever this is. I don't know if it's a moon or a planet. I wasn't really paying attention to the map there, but that's okay. Um, I think we might want to try to go... To our 12 o'clock there. Orbital flight engaged. I'm trying to get to as much of this flat, big flat spaced area as we can. We gotta control our throttle very well on the way down. So that we don't come in too fast and end up having to manually fly all the way down and miss our glide. There we go. <clears throat> gliding, gliding, gliding. All right, so I don't really have too much to say, so I guess what we could do is put a time lapse into this because it's all stuff that we've seen before. All right, well, uh, I'm having a hard time finding anything else on this planet. And also, it's just, it's been a very long time since I've tried to do this sort of format. So I'm not really sure how much video I actually have. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it. And if the video ends up being a little bit shorter, I'll know for next time. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members, do get early access to all of my content so be sure to click that join button check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you if you're not interested in a membership you can always leave youtube's version of a tip with that thanks button direct contributions such as okay <laughs> direct contributions such as these are always appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time business with is which is a dream i just realized what it is b is the point button and i use b in my hunting game for uh the binoculars and i was in the wrong game but anyways thank you very much for your time hope you guys end up coming back for the next episode let me know what you think about the new format in the comment section and i'll see you for the next one